Okay, is everybody outside? Everybody Hi, Come on, children. Hi, Freddy. Randy's going to say, Freddy. you just want a brand new car. Hold on. Story of my life. Hold on. It's not in focus. <laughs> He's been saying that for years. It's not in focus. Okay. For those of us in radio, for those of us in records, we know that for the last 25, 30, 35 years, actually since rock and roll began, a big scare for record companies was the, what do you call it, leaking of music before the record actually came out. Okay? And oh, we're just talking more prevalent about that. now with the internet and all the different ways that music can be stolen and be on the radio before it's really released. Well, in, back in the 80s, when I was at AM Records from 80 to 90, in the 80s, we were pretty careful. If we had a new Sting record, if we had a new Janet record, we were always very, very careful, and there were very few times there were leaks. And every now and then when there was one, when all of a sudden Quixie in Atlanta was playing our record five days before it came out, nine of us would jump on an airplane and get to every radio station in America within three days to give them a copy so they wouldn't be pissed off. <laughs> well, in 1983, we had a new Styx record about to come out. And there was a PD at k -Earth. <laughs> Bob I don't know if he's here or not. <laughs> Whoops. Hey. Whoops. Let me get him over here. So, <laughs> I'm pushing, I'm pushing him. So, I get a phone call. Actually, I was sitting with Charlie Miner, my partner. And most of you know Charlie. Yeah. And Charlie turns white. And I knew it was Bob because his secretary, Andrea, said, Hey, Charlie, it's Bob Bob on, on three. And he turns white. And, and Charlie said, He puts him on speaker. He says, Steve, listen. We're talking to Bob Hamilton, and in the background, he's playing the best of times by Sticks, which nobody has. <laughs> nobody has this record. No, nobody's going to have it for a week and a half, two oh. weeks. And Bob says, well, I'm about to put it on the air. We said, Bob, please, no, please don't put it on the air. It's the last thing in the world we need. And Bob was a mensch. He didn't play the record. <laughs> I only charge you 500. <laughs> <laughs> a thousand. <laughs> I think it was a Rolls Royce. I think it was a Rolls Royce. <laughs> 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 No. So three or four days later, <coughs> and I and maybe a couple other people in the office, but Charlie and I each got a little present, a little gift, a little Christmas gift. It wasn't really related to, to the sticks thing, but we were, had Bob on our mind, and we got a, a gift. And <coughs> the gift that I got was a little tiny tree, a little bush or tree, whatever. Mm. Keep the magic nice. Oh, yeah, sorry about that. It was a little tiny tree, and, and I didn't know what to do with it, so I took it home and put it on the kitchen table for a few weeks. And finally, my gardeners come every Friday, I said, Will this grow if we put it in the ground, whatever, you know? And they said, oh, we'll, we'll find a place for it. Does everybody see that tree right there, that pine tree right there? Yeah. Huh? That's my Bob Hamilton pine tree. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Bob will be buried under that tree. <laughs> With the Rolls Royce. Bob, if you want to pull it out and make it home. <laughs> <laughs> Today's parting door prize. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> and I want to hear Jeremiah was a bullfrog. I don't know that record. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, Joy to the World. Yeah. Oh, that record, yeah. But anyway, that's, that's my little presentation for Bob today. Gold single. <laughs> yeah, I should put it in there. Yeah. Will there be a plaque on that tree? Yeah. All right, let's go back to the party. <laughs> back to the <laughs> that's the tree. That's right, baby. Oh, it would be a nice ornament. Yeah, 83, 84, that sounds about right. Yeah, there we go. <laughs>